Hi, it's Mark from Top Local. We're here with Bernie Pollock, Pollock Automotive in Vancouver, 21 time winners of best auto repair in Vancouver. It's unbelievable, 21 times. Come on, aren't there any other good places to get your car fixed? Well, maybe not. These are the guys that their customers vote for as being the best auto repair in Vancouver. How are you doing this morning, Bernie? Doing very well. And there are lots of other great shops around. We're just fortunate to uh, have customers who vote for us, which is, thank you. So there you go. The, the guys uh, at Pollock do a great job. And today we're talking about a 2015 Honda CRV that had a cabin air filter that needed changing. What was going on with this Honda? So the vehicle came to us for a, an A maintenance service, which is your, the most basic service that, that's required on the vehicle. It's a, essentially an oil change with a basic vehicle inspection. So what we do during that service is look at the lights, adjust the tire pressures, inspect the fluids. We, we, we use a two post hoist so we get the vehicle up in the air. We can wiggle the wheels, make sure there's nothing obviously wrong with the, with the you know, uh, anything obviously loose. This vehicle is pretty low kilometer, so you wouldn't expect to find anything, but you never know. Yeah, and that, that basically covers it. We don't, uh, the B service is more involved, which, you know, we take wheels off and look at things in more depth, but uh, the A service is, you know, pretty thorough for, for what we do. Uh, we also found the cabin air filter was dirty and uh, that needed to be replaced. That was really the only other thing uh, that was due at this point in time. So what does that look like? Cabin air filter. Well, let's, let's have a look because this one, this one's a nice dirty one. So it's worth, worth a couple of pictures. So there's our 2015 CRV. We just washed it. It's a, it's a fall. You can tell it's a fall day in Vancouver because there's leaves that have fallen on the ground and it's a bit moist out. There's the cabin air filter. Typical, very dirty cabin air filter. Um, just so, you know, I don't have a picture of a brand new one, but this, this white is basically how the whole filter should look. There should be none of this gray, dirty stuff. So this vehicle is four years old, about 50,000 kilometers, a bit less than that. This filter's definitely not been changed. So that's kind of what uh, 50,000 kilometers of driving around the city of Vancouver and maybe uh, British, province of British Columbia will do. These filters will get dirtier or less dirty depending on where you drive. So, you know, if you happen to be driving in an area with a dusty climate, the filter will plug up certainly a lot quicker. Is replacing the cabin air filter complicated? No, nah, it's a really, really pretty straightforward service. And uh, as much as we like to do everything on people's cars, I mean, if you're somewhat handy doing it yourself, it's not a hard thing to do on, on this vehicle. Just, it's just accessible from the inside and there's, it's, it, it's not a difficult service to do. So the filter that's dirty, what kind of damage does it cause? Well, nothing really. And, and uh, as bad as this filter is, we've actually seen a few that are even worse than this. But um, I mean, what can happen is, is it, can, it can put some strain on the heater blower system because you're sucking against uh, you know, a, a, a blockage. But you know, we, I, don't, I can't think of it in my whole automotive career where we've ever had one where you can sort of, you know, the motor straining and you can tell afterwards that, that it's working better. But clearly there will be some difference uh, in terms of how the air flows through the vehicle, but never seen any damage caused by one, but we have seen some, you know, tend to come apart and they could, you know, get in and tend to, you know, block parts of the uh, heater blower, the squirrel cage fan. So, so it, again, it's important to change it on a regular basis and, and regular, this car's four years old. So this, you know, this has got the most life out of it. It's probably gone a little too long, but probably every three years on average is a good time to do a cabin air filter in a car. And of course there's whatever it's causing damage as far as your lungs are going. Yeah, exactly. And I was thinking a little bit, you know, uh, you know, while kind of putting this uh, podcast together, what, uh, you know, it, there was for so many years, cars never had cabin air filters. This is something that's sort of been around for maybe the last 15 years. And, um, you know, many cars never had them in the past. So, you know, what's changed? You know, I, I think, uh, you know, cars, car cabins have become more sealed than they used to be. If you think of cars back in the 60s, it wasn't entirely uh, abnormal to have like, you know, wind whistling air leaks and, uh, you know, only something like a Cadillac would probably be like really airtight. Uh, e even then it wouldn't be. So, you know, there's, there's a lot, you're kind of breathing a lot of air that's uh, in, a, in a more confined space. So you want to kind of keep it clean. Plus, you know, the world's getting uh, probably more polluted and people spend more time sitting in their cars and traffic jams, you know, diesel trucks and you know they're I mean those are cleaner than they used to be but you know city diesel trucks all all those kind of things I think contributed to the idea hey let's make the long driving experience a little more pleasant so not all cars today even have cabin air filters no not all of them uh most cars I'd say do but uh 
you know, a lot of times, you know, that's a kind of a regular maintenance item we look for on, on, on vehicles. And if it's a, in, a, a new client or someone who we haven't done the cabin air filter for, sometimes it's kind of surprising. We find, oh, this car doesn't have one. Um, so yeah, I, not every car has one. I'd say that probably 80% do, uh, might even be, that number might even be higher now, but, uh, but yeah, not, not, not every car has one. And how reliable are the 2015 Honda CRVs? Well, I was going to immediately go, oh yeah, these are super reliable, like all Hondas. But uh, you know, these are still a little bit new to us at our shop. Uh, you know, it seems like cars are a little older. We tend to we tend to service a little more frequently, and haven't seen a lot of problems with CRVs. But these, uh, so I did a little research, and there's actually a, a number of complaints in these vehicles. Uh, engine vibration problems. Uh, not certain exactly what that what the cause of that is, but that seems to be about the biggest complaint in this vehicle: engine vibration problems. Interestingly enough, looking at the uh, newer CRVs, of 2017 and 18, that they use a different engine. Uh, there's a lot of problems, and this is pretty serious: uh, fuel contamination in, in the engine oil. So the uh, so the oil level starts going up because there's gasoline somehow leaking into the into the uh, engine lubricating system, and that that can cause some serious damage breaking down the, the uh, engine oil, you know, and, and causing engine damage. So uh, that's a pretty serious issue. So uh, I think, you know, with the CRV, it's good to be a little cautious and, and expect you might have a few more problems than you would uh, on, from the past models. Again, it's a car, maybe if you're buying a, a used one, you might even consider, you know, getting an extended warranty. I, I often say with Japanese cars, I oh, don't worry about it because they're so reliable, but this one, this one may have a few issues. So there you go, a bit of word of caution on the newer models of Honda CRV. If you're looking for service in Vancouver for your Honda, you guys to call our Pollock Automotive. You can reach them at 604-327-7112 to book your appointment. Check out the website, pollockautomotive.com, uh, YouTube channel, Pollock Auto Repair. There's hundreds of videos in both places and uh, blog posts on repairs, all huge range of repairs, huge range of makes and models. And of course, thanks so much for listening to the podcast. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Bernie. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. It's appreciated. <laughs>